Hey everybody, how's it going? So today I want to show you how to save the settings of the Logitech C920 and C922 webcams. Unfortunately, if you go into the properties and you try and save it that way, it doesn't really do anything. You can download their software. It's going to be the Logitech G Hub software. I will post a link down below. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the download page for the software and download and install that. Once you have that installed, you're going to open it up and you're going to see the webcam that you have listed under the software here. You will also see that it says an active profile and the profile that you have selected. So what you want to do in the top right, the G Hub settings, go into there and you'll see that it says always start after logging in. That's just essentially the software will boot on startup. It will stay minimized. It won't, you know, get in your way or anything like that. I personally keep it enabled so that way all of my settings are always there. Other than that, you will see it has persistent profile. Your persistent profile will override all other profiles. So I personally do have one set up because I don't use the software for anything else. I have all the settings I want, then I have the persistent profile set. So essentially I always have the settings I want loaded. Now with that, we're going to go click, we're going to go back and we're going to click on the webcam. You'll see you have the camera and the video options. Under the camera options, you want to disable autofocus and exposure. And then you're going to go down to priority and make sure frame rate is enabled as well. Then you're going to go over to video and you're going to make sure you have white balance disabled. You can fine the, fine tune these to whatever you prefer, but those I would definitely recommending I would definitely recommend keeping disabled. Otherwise, you're going to see inconsistencies and just have all kinds of quality control issues. Once you have all that set, you're good to go. Every time you turn on the computer at that point, the software will load in the background, and then you will have all of your settings. So when you go load up OBS or whatever it is you're trying to do, all of those settings should already be there for you. Alright, if this helped out, please feel free to drop a like and subscribe. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, if you have any specific videos or any other issues you're worried about, just drop a comment below. I'll I answer all of my comments, so I'm you know, more than happy to help out. Thank you guys for tuning in. I greatly appreciate your time. I'll see you guys again later. Take care.